So from Zurich Insurance point of view, we've been on the automation journey, uh, as Chris said, for some time, and it goes back four or five years. Now, if you understand Zurich um, and all insurers, we have a moment of truth. And that moment of truth is the point of claim. We have a really good uh, claims record. We pay 99% of claims. Um, and that's a great thing from a customer experience point of view. The problem and the challenge that uh, we worked on with EY, which we're going to share with you today, was actually, can we actually apply artificial intelligence to our life insurance claims business? Not just here in the UK, but globally. What could this artificial intelligence do? Could we apply it to disability claims, for example, with medical reports, which is not dissimilar to the example previously on injury claims? So our second challenge was not just about automating the process. This is a really important moment of truth in life insurance. You know, you want to point where there's human contact, if the customer wants human contact, you definitely want to provide empathy to that customer. So can we make sure we don't remove that human element that's required at that particular moment in truth? While the overall intent was to look at a, a kind of intelligence and an AI-based solution, what we rapidly realized is what we actually needed to do was actually change and create a much better process. Um, so it wasn't just adding AI to something that already was there, it was actually about changing the overall process and making it a much better process in terms of both efficiency, but far more importantly, actually having a better process from a customer outcome point of view. We basically redesigned the claims process for Zurich, uh, actually put a whole bunch of test cases through it, over 100 test cases through it, just to make sure it was a, a, a good, robust process showed a straight through process, throw, showed actually multiple different customer journeys, an omni-channel experience. But the key part to this was what we also demonstrated was over 70% efficiencies in changing the process to be a digital process, with RPA as the absolute core of this, driving interactions with our customers, our agents, uh, all the way through the process. But it only took us four weeks with two analysts to build that. That's the power of RPA, the power of the ability to interact with five different legacy systems, or five, five different systems, legacy and word and uh, email, and effectively being able to build that at an extreme pace, where our supposition would be less than a week, basically, to actually pay that claim in the, compared to the industry average of 50 days. That was a, uh, you know, a huge win for Zurich in terms of time and effort. Uh, as well as a much bigger win for the customer in terms of getting a great customer service out of it. We're reserving less cash, holding on to less cash to pay for, it, for a, um, the, the, the actual claim. That's a massive cash flow benefit to the business as well. There's all sorts of benefits through fundamentally changing the process. E EY has invested very significantly over the last 18 months building tools specific to machine learning and machine learning OCR, so getting unstructured information, for example, doctor's notes or death certificates or whatever it might be, having the ability for the robot to be able to read that. So we've had to build our own tool. This is called Sire. So we have a tool that we can bring into uh, any type of document to be able to allow the robot to fully enact the kind of the human, the human readable stuff that we find very easy that robots really can't deal with. And for us, that's just the start. because. Effectively, what this now allows us to do is create an entire uh, capability on top of Zurich's ex existing system. So um, not only can we do the digital stuff that you saw before, uh, we can now start to add in the AI stuff, but things like machine learning, OCR, decision making, uh, chatbots, et cetera. Um, and we're taking that as a stack that we have now built and effectively creating an entire um, intelligent automation as a service capability. We can deploy leading intelligent automation capability on any environment around the world. We can transform in place as part of a risk reward structure. And to, to Zurich, obviously, that gives a, a lot more attraction in terms of being able to t take advanced processes uh, and advanced ways of working across the globe. Um, so thank you. For you. Thank you for the time. And there's actually some of the Zurich people here today who do the automation for us across the globe and in the UK. And I'll say thank you to them as well for the great work that they actually put in.